We've been looking at uh, some types that uh, allow you to sort of bend the rules in Rust. And uh, the rules that we've been bending are um, have been about uh, mutability, which is you know changing the data on the inside without uh, without declaring mute. And uh, another uh, type that we're going to use to bend some rules is um, is about well, it's called an RC, and that means a reference counter and uh, the rule that we're going to bend is the rule about uh, only one, let's see, only one owner for a piece of data, and uh, unless it's copy type. And uh, we've seen that before with, uh, with, for example, you know, strings or whatever, anything that uh, that is not a copy type. If you do something like this, you have this. Uh, this function we say uh, it takes a string and it takes a string not a reference to a string and if we print it out then it's going to take ownership and then the uh, and then the string is going to disappear so if we say uh, let my string let's see let's say let's username and then we'll say uh, string from and we'll say uh, user make user sin so we have this uh, this username and then we say it takes a string and then we put username in there and that is the end of username because uh, by the time we get to this next line it has gone into the function function takes ownership and it's gone and then uh, you know rest uh, gives this error that we're very familiar with it says hey it has uh, type string it's not copy type it goes into the uh, you know this function takes the value and that's the end of it it dies here so a reference counter is uh is the way that you can uh, get around this and you can give uh like in a controlled fashion you give uh, more than one uh, one owner to a piece of data and reference counter is kind of like this uh this diligent like a like an accountant or something like that and it keeps track of everything so you put uh you put something inside of a reference counter and then uh, that um that right now becomes uh, it gets this one, so uh, it keeps track of how many owners there are. So one, and then uh, and then if you clone clone the reference counter and put a uh, you know put the uh, the name of the variable in my variable, then uh, it's going to bump it up to uh, to two. You can say like you know let new variable equals rc clone my variable, and then that that'll bump it up to two, and then you can do it again and bump it up to three, and so on. And then uh, it's going to watch the uh, the owners, and um, when the owners go out of scope, then uh, it'll drop by one. And then when it finally gets to zero, then uh, then it cleans it up, and uh, that's the end of that uh, variable. So uh, that's the way it keeps uh, everything safe. And if you look over here at the uh, the documentation, the interesting thing about the RC, the reference counter, is that the inherent methods are all associated functions. So you can see it uses this um, this RC get mute instead of like uh, dot get mute, and then uh, when it's associated, you have to uh, there's no implied self. You uh, you actually have to you know use a uh, an ampersand and then a value or what whatever whatever is taken in. And I'll just show you uh, this is actually true with with every struct uh, struct in enum everything with an impl impl block an implementation block. So, so let's say we have a, uh, a struct called book, and it's super simple. That's the end of our struct. And then we have one function, and it's give name. And we say self, and then all we're going to do is say print the name. So let's see, book's name is something self dot, uh, let's see, give self dot name, like that. And let's take this out for now because we're not going to look at this yet. And so if you say let my book equals book, uh, name will say yeah, it's called my book dot to string. So there you go. We have made a book. And you know, if you want to use a method, you, you say my book dot give name. And that's all you have to do like that. So that is the you know the method signature and let's see give name self uh, did I forget a thing 
I forgot to write fn. There we go. So function give name self. And there you go. So book's name is my book. So that, uh, you know, we know that. But um, actually these, every function inside of an impl block is actually, is actually kind of like contained like this. Like you've seen in the, uh, in every, in the documentation rest, you have uh, whatever is inside something else um, is, uh, is connected by these two, two colons. So you can see RC is inside RC, which is uh, inside STD, which is the standard library. And so you, like you go down levels with these, uh, with these colons. And so you have, uh, you know, this book here and then inside it is a function called give name. So actually you can, uh, you can call it with this, uh, with this exact, uh, exact way. And you have, uh, and instead of, um, instead of having nothing here, you have to, uh, you have to write uh, my book because otherwise, you know, it doesn't know what, uh, what's calling it. Like if you have a book give name, well, you need self and what is self? Well, uh, self, we're going to choose uh, you know, reference to my book because uh, that's, uh, you know, my book is a book. So it has this function and that is how you use the, uh, the associated, uh, associated function signature to do it. And that is what an RC does for pretty much all of its, uh, all its functions. And you can see it's done exactly the same thing. Book's name is my book. And if you do that, it'll be the exact same thing. So my book dot give name has nothing in it because uh, it's already connected to my book. So we don't need to do that. Whereas book give name at this point, we don't know what's going in. So that's why you have to write uh, reference to my book. So that is the, uh, that's the signature that you use with uh, most of the time with an RC. And uh, in the next uh, video, we're actually going to uh, do some things with it.